You have been lied to about the nature of your being and that is so you are entrapped into lower states of consciousness where you're easier to control, easier to manipulate, and most importantly, you're prevented from accessing higher states of consciousness and awareness where you transcend all lower vibrational emotions and truly become sovereign and free in your being, in your spirit. And that is why today we're gonna to shift our focus to enlightenment, not just of the mind, not just of the body, but of the spirit. We're gonna dive into the metaphysical, mystical, yet profoundly practical world of our light bodies. And I know that when you hear light body, that might sound fake, it might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but I assure you, it's as real as the air you breathe. Ancient wisdom from cultures around the world speak of a luminous energy field that expands around our body, as well as a subtle body, which is the lifeblood of our physical body. And without this energetic body that you are, your physical body would not be nourished, your physical body would not even survive. So it's when we actually tap into this light body, we tap into the vehicle of our consciousness, the vehicle to transcending into higher vibrational emotions and higher states of consciousness. And it's really, really important that we understand the practices to activate this light body. Guys, I've worked with hundreds of students teaching them meditation, pranayama, different energetic techniques to activate this divine essence inside. And I can tell you that this physical plane of existence is truly what everyone has been disconnected from and it is the key to solving all of our health issues, all of our mental health issues, just by tapping into the power of the mind and the spirit, the spiritual essence that goes beyond the mind and the body. So in this episode, I'm gonna give you the three main practices on how to activate your energetic light body, which goes beyond this physical realm. And when you start to tune into this layer of reality, it will change your state of consciousness. That's all I can say. It will activate something inside of you that it goes beyond this physical dimension. You will feel something ignite, a spark, that maybe you felt before, maybe it's diminished, but when you feel it, it's like nothing else and you will know that you are activated. You will know that you are elevated because the way you see the world changes, you start to see the truth, you start to feel and know what is wrong, what is meant for you. And that's also because when you activate your light body, when you go beyond the physical mind and tune into your spirit, you activate your inner voice, your inner intuition. Here are the three practices that I personally have trained hundreds of students on to activate their intuition, their inner spiritual essence, and step into the highest versions of themselves. I've worked with students who are depressed, anxious, chronically stressed, and deemed incurable by the medical system, and I've been able to cure tons, tons of clients who are deemed incurable from just these practices alone. But also, I've worked with therapists, doctors, and professional athletes with these techniques. And now before I share with you the practices that have contributed not only to my awakening, but also tons of my clients, I think it's important that you understand that going about this journey alone is very, very difficult. And that is why I've invested tons into my mentors, my meditation masters, my teachers, because it can be overwhelming to take on new practices, new habits in our life, because the way our brains actually work is when we do the same thing over and over, neurologically, our brain becomes hardwired a certain way. So it's very difficult to make significant changes consistently over time. And that is why having a community, having someone to motivate you, hold you accountable is extremely valuable in this world today. I have many mentors and coaches who help me, teachers, masters, and I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for them. Having someone who is truly an experienced leader guiding you is the most valuable thing that anyone can have, especially with practices in pranayama meditation because there's always little issues that may come up, little problems, and it's when you fix those little problems that you will notice the most transformative changes in your practice. Not to mention just the overall encouragement and support that you gain from having a community of like-minded individuals on the same path, working towards the same goals. It's extremely profound and I've found this very transformative in my own life with my practices. 
Now let's talk about practice one, which is pranayama and meditation. So pranayama is a word for energizing breath pattern. It's similar to breath work, but breath work is actually just a derivative of pranayama. Pranayama is the ancient form of breath work that has been passed down thousands of years from different yogis, ascended masters who have passed down techniques to activate the spirit. And many yogis, many masters spend decades in the mountains just practicing these techniques to develop their spiritual awareness. And I can tell you that just by practicing these techniques, transformative experiences. And it's crazy because even myself, I've experienced waves of emotion move through me. Clients of mine have had tears of joy. For example, my client, Laura, who was able to move through her own depression, anxiety that she was struggling with at the time and gain access to new mental clarity. And that was after just having an emotional release through a pranayama session. And even myself, I've felt this energetic world moving through me, you feel pulsations, vibrations moving through my entire body and it was an incredible feeling. I've felt nothing else like this through pranayama alone. And specific chanting with pranayama is extremely powerful because when we chant and we use pranayama, we're actually tuning into vibratory words that are creating a vibrational pulse in our body that when we surrender to with pranayama, it shuts down our monkey mind. So we're in a more vulnerable state in a good way. So we can actually access that subconscious piece of us. And this is called transient hypofrontality when that monkey mind shuts down. And that is when you can have visions. That is when you can have crazy experiences. And I've had tons of visions of just energetic beings, things coming through that I can't even explain in words. It's a dimension of reality that really does go beyond words. But you can think of pranayama not only as practicing these ancient energetic breath patterns, but every time you practice pranayama, you are investing into a higher, more alive, more vibrant version of yourself. Because it's not only cleansing out your mental state by turning off the monkey mind, making you more present, and internally channeling that eye inwards, you can focus on that inner world and all of the inner workings, that energetic inner world that usually doesn't get paid attention to can actually get energy. It also purifies your physical body. In fact, what's called a diaphragmatic massage, for example, in what we call Kapalbhati, one of the techniques that I practice and teach, when you practice this, you are creating a diaphragmatic cardiac massage where you're pumping your diaphragm. And what this does is it pumps your blood up and it is actually releasing plaque inside of your brain, which people don't know this, but when plaque builds up inside of your brain, it can lead to anxiety, stress, depression. We actually have a layer of plaque in our brain and practicing pranayama, practicing this diaphragmatic massage it not only massages your internal organs, but it releases that plaque slowly from the brain, releasing tension and stress from the mind and the body. But not only this, pranayama is an extreme, extremely powerful method for releasing deep trauma and transcending old limiting beliefs, old patterns, because when we focus on the breath, we have this ability to access altered states of awareness, altered states of consciousness. But as soon as we shift out of the mind, something really, really interesting happens. When you practice specific pranayama techniques, you can tune into any unprocessed energy, any negative energy or trauma that has been held on by your nervous system. See, when your body is in a sympathetic nervous system, it's in its flight or fight response. It's always fighting, looking at survival. And a lot of people who have experienced a lot of trauma still allow this emotion to interact with them. And, and it affects their day-to-day -day life because the trauma, even though it was experienced a long time ago, the signal on your nervous system is signaling you to fight or flight consistently and putting you into a lower state of awareness, focusing on survival. But when we turn off that monkey mind, we shift into the parasympathetic nervous system, 
what happens is something extremely profound. We gain access to our body, the store of emotions that store inside of our body from unprocessed trauma, they will come to the surface and a sort of purge happens where we experience emotions, unhealed wounds, traumas, things that we must see. Sometimes they are not pleasant, but what happens is they come up and all of a sudden we transcend past layers of ourself and we gain access to a higher version of ourself a more elevated, more alive, more in tune version of ourself. But also pranayama is so powerful because the more you sit with your breath over time, what happens is really, really incredible. It's this inner connection to yourself slowly grows and grows more and more. And what you find is that every time you close your eyes and you practice specific pranayama techniques. For example, Nadi Shodhana, which is a pranayama practice specifically for balancing the left and right hemispheres of the brain. When you practice pranayama, what happens is you close your eyes and all of a sudden you gain an understanding slowly internally of yourself. You start to know yourself more and more. And the more you get to know yourself internally, that reflection of knowing yourself shows up in the world you start to build your character internally because so many people don't understand this, don't understand the fact that we can learn a lot about ourselves from just sitting and practicing with our breath. It's incredible how much you can learn from just tuning out of the mind because you gain access to that light realm, that energy realm that blesses with all the knowledge, the intuitive connection that blesses with all the knowledge of what is needed for your life, what you need to do, it shows you your blind spots, most importantly, and truthfully, everyone has blind spots. Every single person on planet Earth is not perfect, and everyone has pieces of them that need improvement and progression. And it's in deep states of meditation and pranayama where you will gain access to states of consciousness where you will see things about yourself that would be impossible to know it's this higher voice signaling you, showing you things about yourself. And those will slowly just build and build your internal character. And as you build your internal character, something incredible happens. You will start to gain more and more abundance in the physical world because the physical world is truly just a result of our internal character. As you build your internal character, everything else changes. But beyond that, it's because of the enhancement and the mental clarity and connection to this inner tuition or intuition. It's really, really important that we understand how disconnected humans have become from this intuition. In fact, today we have been put into a society where society programs us into putting all of our time, all of our energy into school, listening to an authority figure in school, a teacher, a boss, whatever it is, we have authoritative figures in every aspect of our life trying to tell us what to do from the point of a little kid. And that is because as a little kid, we have a strong connection to the spiritual realm, but that dissipates slowly as we are told what to do, as we follow and disconnect from our inner voice, we listen to more voices externally, and we no longer have this inner source of light, this vibrance, an inner knowing of where we must go, what we must do in our life. And I can tell you personally from my experience that it is profound and incredible what you can experience from tuning into pranayama and your inner voice. I can tell you from experience, it is extremely profound. The level of intuitive development you will have with your life and what the result of that on your life experience is. Because imagine you had a teacher that was specifically giving you all of the perfect advice, the advice to grow into the perfect person, to grow into the highest version of yourself, to grow into your highest potential and become the highest, most loving, most intentional version of yourself where you are living in the most elevated state. This is what connecting to your inner tuition does because when you connect to that inner voice, it is this inner source of radiance that 
will just guide you through an inner knowing. When you really connect to that voice, there's no question. You just know exactly what you need to do. You know exactly who you need to stay away from. You know exactly what the next step is. And it's that next step that will slowly build and build from one step to the next step to living a life of full time purpose, passion, and thriving on another level in your life. And this is what I experience every single day. And I've felt this for quite some time. These practices are absolutely pivotal in enhancing your spiritual connection and becoming your highest potential that you can achieve. And as you connect internally to your inner voice, there is no need for any other voice to tell you what to do ever again. You can hear inputs, but the truth is, when you truly, in totality, connect to that inner tuition, then you become free, you become sovereign. And this is why there are so many chemicals in our food that disconnect us from our mind. This is why there's so much distraction on our phones, on our screens, telling us to do this, go here, do this. Because our awareness and energy is the true currency of this new world. But why is that? Why is it that our energy and awareness is the currency of this new world? It's because if our energy and awareness was actually diverted inward, we would gain access to this unstoppable inner knowing about what we need to do with our life. We would gain access to infinite guidance, infinite truths about what is needed in our life. And this would make us way too powerful. This would make you far too powerful. And that is why it's hidden from you. And that is why so many people have been disconnected from it. Now, meditation and pranayama are very similar, but they're not the same. Meditation allows you to transcend layers of yourself, allowing you to be reborn over and over again into a new and better self. And it's in a meditation practice that you will find answers beyond anything else, just like with pranayama. Now, but meditation has but we have been lied to about the true proper way to meditate and that is because it's a huge industry and it's allowing tons of people to profit. And I've been certified in the cutting edge of meditation. I've learned from the master meditators, yogis on the planet in person. And I can tell you that there is only one true way to meditate and guided meditations, meditations on an app that are guided can be helpful. But the truth is real meditation is just between you and you and building a daily sadhana is a practice that happens over time. But to truly meditate properly and gain access to the intuitive connection, you have to practice and learn how to maintain sadhana. So when you meditate in one spot in a specific way, the proper way you will learn, you will learn more about yourself than any other practice you can do. And I can tell you this because I've learned from the master yogis of this planet in person. I've trained and studied and certified in multiple different forms of meditation and pranayama. Now it's really, really important that you understand that if you're meditating with an app, a guide, these will only allow you to access a certain state of consciousness because when you meditate with an app, when you meditate with a guide, you're really only getting to a certain level because it's making you reliant on the app, it's making you reliant on the guided meditation. And that is why daily sadhana is the most important practice of my daily routine and all my clients because when you truly tap in to that inner tuition, it is a connection that feels like a cheat code in this life because it gives you all of the answers that you need for your life and what you're meant to do. And I can say that truthfully. Now the second practice is subconscious reprogramming. So if you didn't know, 95 to 98% of our life becomes completely subconscious by the time we are 25 to 30. And that is because our brains become hardwired doing the same patterns. And all of a sudden we're no longer consciously living freely by will. We become slaves to the habits and the patterns, reset the subconscious mind, then it's impossible to actually gain access to a new level of consciousness, a new state of being, because there's all of this baggage, which you can't see with the two physical eyes, but it builds up slowly. And it's the most scary thing because 
because so many people will go their entire life and die with the same subconscious habits and patterns just over and over, just repeating over and over because they simply could not reprogram their awareness, reprogram this one aspect of themselves so they can gain access and see their blind spots of what they have been doing wrong. Now pranayama helps with that, but it's really, really important that now pranayama is a way to break down the barrier of the subconscious mind because what it does is typically when our brain is always active, it's in either alpha or gamma wave state. But all of a sudden when we practice pranayama, our monkey mind shuts off, our brain goes into a theta wave state. So when we're in a theta wave state, we are in the mode of hypnosis or subconscious reprogramming. We gain access to that 95% of our brain. Now, this is really important because if you can gain access to that part of the brain, it shuts it down with pranayama. But the most important piece is reprogramming, shifting into another version of ourself when you're in that subconscious lucid state. Now, what I've discovered and found is that through deep mirror gazing, we gain access to a higher version of ourself through different visualization practices and gazing deep through our eyes, you will have extreme experiences, seeing different versions of yourself, different patterns that will come up all through just gazing in the mirror. And when you do this in a specific way, I've seen my clients break down crying. I've seen my clients, for example, take a look at my client Juliana, who did a pranayama and soul gazing mirror meditation and said it was one of the most profound experiences of her life where she felt ecstatic joy throughout her body and was even experiencing higher vibrational frequencies inside her mind that she was sensing. Just through staring in the mirror and practicing pranayama, you can have extreme, profound experiences, experiencing heightened emotions and also a lot of visions and things about yourself that will come up that would normally only happen in substances when you take certain things and you're not experiencing these things through taking anything. It's simply through the breath and the mirror alone. You can have a full hallucination experience, but hallucinations are not just by accident. Hallucinations reveal something about your subconscious. This is what people don't understand. So when you see something in the mirror, it is showing you something about yourself. And I've found with my specific breath patterns and soul gazing meditation that people will have these experiences and they're extremely profound. But the integration piece of afterward, what they do with them, how they process this is even more important than that. But that brings me to number three, and that is connecting with the life force energy of the planet. And there are four main sources of life force energy that we get our energy from our chi, which in chi in China, called chi and in India it's called prana it's just life force energy which you can connect to through grounding and scientists have actually measured that there is an electromagnetic pulse of the earth it's called the Schumann resonance and when we connect to that with our feet you can actually feel a change in your awareness a change in your consciousness and I wear my shoes never I I never wear shoes I live in Costa Rica so I've been able to feel the profound effects of grounding every single day. However, most people don't, and it's really, really important that you connect to this frequency of the earth because it heals and repairs every piece of your body and gives you access to more energy that you can utilize. Number two, we have solar energy, which is the energy from the sun, and probably the most important life-giving essence that we have on this planet that it's only 30 minutes before the sun rises or 30 minutes before it sets. It's really, really important because that's when the UV rays are just dim enough that you can actually stare at the sun. And this decalcifies the pineal gland and it will enhance your spiritual awareness by far. But there are also some techniques that I've learned from my masters and meditation teachers. For example, pineal sunning, which is a technique that I'm gonna be sharing exclusively to everyone inside Elevate Your Essence. And there are specific techniques for letting the sunlight, the solar energy into the pineal gland. And you have to be very, very careful. It's important that you learn this from someone who has practice, who has learned from a master. But when you activate your pineal gland, let me just explain to you a little bit of what happens to me. I'll go out into 
the sun, I'll go to the beach and I'll meditate on the beach and I will start having profound visions just expanding into my consciousness, feelings of connectedness to everything around me and I start getting downloads about my life, about what I need to do. The visions and things that I see are just beyond profound, just energetic blueprints moving through me that I couldn't explain with words if I really wanted to. But this is what happens when you activate the third eye through the sun, the solar energy. It is a real thing. And the energetic hot points in the body, chakra system, the meridians, all correlate with this energetic channel in the body. They've been talked about in ancient scriptures that date back 5,000 BC called the Vedas, as well as have been proven to be true with things like the meridians and Chinese medicine, which correlate directly to the chakra system and have healed tons of diseases. But more importantly, when we activate that energy body and that world beyond our two physical eyes, we not only gain access to an ability to heal ourselves, but we gain access to incredible altered states of awareness that we can receive information and data from about our life, things that we can create, and downloads about the universe, insights. It's incredibly profound and every human on earth should have a chance to experience this. And that is the power of the solar energy when you truly tap into that solar life force energy. But number three, we have the air, which the air is the most vital source of our energy. If you take away the air for one moment, we're gone, right? Because our breath, the air, is the divine link to this physical body, right? Because as soon as our breath goes away, we take our last breath, we're out of this body. In the amniotic sac, we take a breath, we come into the physical plane of existence. So it's important that we understand that when we meditate, when we breathe, we practice specific breath patterns like pranayama, we're not just going beyond ourselves and going beyond our mind. We are quite literally activating new levels of awareness that would not have been possible without the breath and activating new energy. Because when you breathe in a specific way, you're actually pulling energy from subconscious thoughts, patterns that typically just go run on autopilot and you're bringing that energy, calling it back into the present moment so you have more energy to create. This is not just metaphorical energy, you will actually feel more energized, more alive, because you have more energy to create with. And that is the power of the breath and the air. So the final source of our life force energy is water. And it's really, really important that we connect to the intelligence of water because water is intelligent. And many people neglect this aspect of water, they don't, spend time putting a positive intention into their water, but it's actually been studied and proven that the molecular structure of water is intelligent and conscious. So when we speak to water, when we put a positive intention into water, it actually changes the molecular structure of that water. And when you connect to these sources of life force energy, most importantly, the earth, the sun, tuning into higher states of consciousness through letting in solar energy into the brain, into the pineal gland, you'll not only gain access to new states of consciousness, but you will open doors inside your mind to new realms, new realms that you didn't know existed, new feelings. On top of meditating, practicing pranayama, it's really, really powerful what happens when you practice pranayama, meditation, subconscious reprogramming in front of the mirror, soul gazing, and connecting to all of these sources of our life force energy, what you will experience is a refined level of awareness, refined dimensions that you did not know were there. And as you tune into these layers of reality, you will quite literally become more evolved in your consciousness you will need less sleep, you will become more energy, and you will feel so much better. You will jump out of bed. This is because when you develop this source of light within you, when you activate that non-physical world that's beyond the physical body, you develop non-physical energy centers. And that's because when you go beyond this physical layer of reality, this physical layer of self, 
you gain access to what you truly are in your purest form, and that is light. And you will activate your light body, which when activated, you will feel and be able to transcend layers of the physical world. You'll be able to see things that most people don't see, and you will have this intuitive connection that goes far beyond needing anything outside of yourself. You will truly become free. So inside Elevate Your Essence, you're gonna get access to all of these practices, techniques. You're gonna get access to cutting edge pranayama meditation that allows you to gain access to this divine technology that is within you. And when you practice these breath patterns, what you will see is a profound, significant change in your life, your relationships, but more importantly, how you feel and how you act and show up in the world. And you can certainly go and try learning all of these practices on your own. However, I can assure you that it will take 10 times the amount of time, energy, and resources to really be successful. And having a teacher, having someone guide you throughout the process, throughout the steps of alignment and enlightenment is really, really important for staying accountable but beyond accountability, doing the proper practices because there is so much improper technique in the spiritual community. And that is why I've created this community and these practices to truly give you the quickest, best way to attain that access to your inner voice, your inner tuition, as well as accessing your light body, gaining more energy, feeling better, more alive, more vibrant overall, and awakening spiritually, having more visions, synchronicities, this is all a possibility when you tune in to the essence that makes you what you are, your spiritual essence. My parents, I was forced to meditate growing up as a kid because both my parents were disciples of a yogi. But the past three years I have spent practicing and learning as many different techniques and methods from different masters, teachers like Sadhguru and many other practitioners, masters, yogis, and so Elevate Your Essence is not just another spiritual coaching program. This is the culmination of years of dedicated practice, learning and real life applications in the realms of meditation, pranayama, spiritual awakening, and subconscious reprogramming. Over the last three years, I've immersed myself in the cutting edge techniques of these ancient practices, enhancing them with modern insights, new tools, techniques to bring you a truly transformative experience. Overall, I've spent the last three years not only deeply involved in mastering these techniques myself, but committed to practicing them and teaching them to hundreds and hundreds of other clients as well, alongside guiding them through their transformations and witnessing extraordinary breakthroughs. This experience has not only deepened my understanding, but has also fueled my passion to share their benefits on a much larger scale. So, Inside Elevate Your Essence, you're gonna get access to all of the transformative techniques that I practice on the daily or have helped my clients go from anxious, depressed, to completely transform, living in alignment with their highest self, feeling good, radiating vibrance inside out, or some clients who were professional athletes who just took them to new heights, professional boxers, winning more fights, therapists, helping their clients, giving these techniques to their clients to elevate their state of mind, state of being. So many people will spend money on a therapist forgetting the fact that throwing your money at therapy is quite literally making you reliant on a system that does not want the best for you. See, therapy is designed to keep you as a customer, to not keep you sovereign, but to keep you coming back over and over. And most people who are in therapy will be in therapy for two to three years, which equates to at least 80 to 100 therapy sessions, which overall is about five to $6,000 in the long term at about 25 to $30 a session. But what I'm giving you inside Elevate Your Essence is a set of practices and techniques to truly become sovereign in your being, to become free, whole, and most alive at your deepest, deepest source. Because when you activate that inner tuition, that inner voice, everything changes and you will never need to buy another program. You will never need to see a therapist ever again. I have worked and trained with some of the most renowned meditation masters and yogis on the entire planet, and I've invested upwards of $20,000 into my own certifications, trainings, and meditation programs, learning the cutting edge of pranayama, meditation, and subconscious reprogramming techniques. 
And I can tell you that inside this program, what I'm giving you is far, far beyond what any of the programs out there will give you. And I can assure you that as you practice these techniques consistently, something will awaken inside of you. And I know that is exactly what the world needs and that is why I'm bringing this to you at such a low price because there are so many people out there who've been disconnected from their inner voice, their inner tuition. So I have grabbed all of the most valuable, most profound techniques that I've found the most success with clients back to back and I've compounded them into Elevate Your Essence, advanced meditation techniques to deepen your state of consciousness and awareness, pranayama and energetic breath work, grounding, as well as how to connect to the different sources of life force energy, pineal sunning, letting light into your brain and pineal gland to activate your third eye, as well as the cutting edge of techniques to reprogram your subconscious and have extremely profound mirror meditations where you transcend and see different versions of yourself and connect with deeper parts of your inner child, deeper parts of yourself that need to be healed. So beyond that, it's really, really important that we understand that one of the main aspects I didn't mention in the three practices is diet and nutrition. This is extremely important and doing a spiritual cleanse is something that all yogis, all shamans, many of you guys know that I spent a lot of time in the Amazon jungle with the shamans and they all diet, they have a specific spiritual cleanse that they do which is a specific set of foods that they eat and specific things they don't eat for cleansing the body, purifying the mind so that they can gain access to heightened states of awareness and speak to spirits to connect with the spirit world. This is a real world that is influencing us consistently but without this nutritional connection and being able to cleanse your body and mind, then it is impossible to truly connect to the highest state of consciousness. And that is why I put a full spiritual cleanse and guide for nutrition. And this is really, really important. If you want to gain access to higher states of awareness, I have this cleanse specifically for that. And there are specific foods that no one else talks about that we need to eat, specific foods we need to avoid really tune into the reserve of energy deep inside of us and that is why I've created this program not only to give you these advanced meditation pranayama techniques so that you can become totally free and sovereign but also to give you a sustainable source of information that comes from true experts true maestros masters in the shamanic community in the yoga community and I put this together to really give you access to a taste of enlightenment so that you can elevate your spiritual essence because when you tune in to this inner glow that you will feel when you practice these methods, when you practice the pranayama, when you practice the spiritual cleanse, subconscious reprogramming, the levels of consciousness that you will experience are beyond profound. But beyond that, you're gonna join a community of like-minded individuals who are all on their journey to awakening and inside Elevate Your Essence, you're also gonna have a supportive environment. You're gonna have myself holding you accountable. We're gonna have weekly calls where I teach you one-on-one -on -one different practices, pranayama techniques, methods to help you transcend limiting beliefs. Go beyond layers of your past self that are holding you back and step into new, higher vibrational emotions to step through your limits and be reborn into the greatest version of yourself. So why would you join? Well, I can tell you one, for expert guidance, you're gonna have me and my team coaching, training you on these meditation and pranayama techniques one-on-one -on -one and in groups. And you're gonna get access to all of the methods in video form, high quality, so that you can go about them on your own time and learn and practice. But beyond that, you're gonna get access to proven techniques inside this program that have been refined through years and years and extensive practices and feedback from hundreds of other clients. Beyond that, you're also gonna get the community support. You won't be doing this alone. Our community is gonna be here to support, motivate, and inspire you. And of course, I will be there as well. Not to mention inside this program, you're gonna have a comprehensive guide and approach to truly spiritually awakening at the deepest level holistically. So 
for a short time, I'm gonna be giving away all of this. You're gonna get access to weekly group trainings led by me in Pranayama, meditation, subconscious reprogramming. You're also gonna have all of the meditation and Pranayama techniques from beginner to advanced to launch yourself internally and externally to feel more vibrant and alive overall and transcend limits in your mind. Beyond that, you're gonna get access to the nutrition plan and guidance for spiritually cleansing and tuning into more spiritual essence, connecting to truly spiritually activating. And you're gonna have access to me one-on-one -on -one in the community, as well as direct messaging support by my community through everyone. I'm gonna hold you accountable to all of these practices, the meditations, the fasting, the meditations, the nutrition, as well as connecting to the sources of energy. I'm gonna hold you accountable every single week and that accountability is priceless because it ensures your success. It guarantees that you will reach the state of consciousness that I intend for you to reach. And you're gonna get all of this for three months, that's 90 days, all for $2,000. And just so you understand, I've spent thousands, tens and tens of thousands of dollars what I'm giving you. I spent $10,000 on one of my certification programs to learn the cutting edge of breathwork, meditation, pranayama, so I could teach it and learn the best of the best. And through learning those techniques, my life transformed inside out. But then through teaching them and giving them to others, that was when I really, really started to see the effects that it could have on people. Because people, like I said, with depression, anxiety, who were deemed incurable by the medical system, all of a sudden we're having profound breakthroughs in their life. And combining that now with nutrition, subconscious reprogramming, I know the power of these practices. And that is why I'm willing to give you guys such a low price for this short amount of time. So I hope to see you inside Elevate Your Essence soon.